Hey guys, welcome back again to your Unacademy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, you must be thinking why do I come up with these sort of small videos often these days. The answer is very simple my dear students, I just want you all to remain motivated, to have that self-confidence in you that you can do it, right? In this particular video, I'm going to let you know, I'm going to answer a lot of questions basically. There are a lot of students who have been asking about the expected NEET 2023 cutoff. A lot of students have been asking whether NEET 2024 is going to be easy or difficult. A lot of students are still in dilemma whether to take a drop or not. All these queries I'll be addressing in this particular session, which will be just for 10 to 15 minutes. That's all, right? So my dear students, the first thing which I'm going to address in the today's session is the expected cutoff for the NEET 2023. Well, before talking about the NEET 2023 expected cutoff, we have to look for certain things. And what are those things exactly? Let's have a look. First of all, let's have a look on the NEET 2022 paper analysis exactly. My dear students, as far as your NEET 2022 examination was concerned, physics paper, it was very easy. Chemistry, it was easy. When you talk about your biology, after five to six years, it was seen that in NEET 2022, biology was lengthy. It needed in-depth knowledge of the concepts basically, right? So overall, if I need to analyze the NEET 2022 paper, it was in the category of easy to moderate. And the cutoff in the general category, right? The final stray cutoff in the NEET 2022 examination was 596 as far as the category general is concerned, right? Now, my dear students, if you ask me about the NEET 2023 expected cutoff, let's have a look on that. Let's have a look on that. If you see the NEET 2023 paper, your physics was again easy. When you talk about your chemistry, it was in the category moderate. There were like six to seven questions, which were basically tricky, which needed in-depth knowledge of the NCRT, right? As far as your physical and inorganic chemistry is concerned. And biology this year was comparatively easy, right? So I would say, if you compare this year's paper with the NEET 2022 paper, in NEET 2022, one subject was tricky, that was biology. And in NEET 2023, Again, one subject was tricky, that is going to be your chemistry. Perfect. And what I'm expecting the cutoff should be in the NEET 2023 examination, it has to be 600 plus minus 5. So actually you can keep in it the category of 595 to 605 as far as the general category is concerned, right? Because this year also one subject was tricky and that too it was chemistry, right? Your physics and biology, they were very easy basically right? As compared to the last year. Perfect. So, of course, majority of the students, right, they would have done this physics and biology very nicely, basically, but there were almost like six to seven questions asked in your chemistry, which were tricky, and majority of the students have done those questions wrong, okay? So, the expected cutoff for the NEET 2023, it's going to be from 595 to 605 as far as the general category is concerned, for sure, right? Now, you must be thinking, the ones who, who have checked the answer keys and getting the score less than this particular cutoff. Now you must be in the dilemma, like what to do next? Should we take the drop or not? If we take the drop, what if next year's paper will be difficult? What if next year's paper will be easy? Like these sort of thoughts will be coming into your mind for sure, right? My dear students, if you just follow the sequence, sequence as in, in NEET 2022 examination, your biology was tricky, in your NEET 2023 examination, your chemistry was tricky. And I would say there is 90% probability in your NEET 2024 examination, your physics is going to be tricky, right? This is something which is expected basically. There is 90% probability that in your 2024 examination, your physics is going to be tricky. Your biology and chemistry, they are comparatively going to be easy, perfect. And if you ask me if physics is going to be tricky and chemistry and biology are going to be easy, 
what is going to be the expected cutoff then? The expected cutoff will almost remain the same. In fact, it will lower down a bit. So what I'm assuming, I'm assuming the expected cutoff for NEET 2024 to be from 585 till 600 because it's physics this time which is going to be tricky and physics, this is the hated subject, right? As far as the NEET aspirants are concerned. So I must say the cutoff will slightly lower down and it has to be between 585 to 600 exactly, right? This is, I mean, this is, there is 90% probability, my dear students, that this sequence will be followed in the NEET 2024 examination. Now, you must be thinking whether to take a drop or not. So, my dear students, if you check all the three years now, 2023, 2024, 2022, let me tell you, the level of difficulty of the NEET paper is going to remain almost the same, right? Every year, it's going to be one subject which will be tricky, right? And the probability of physics to be tricky next year is going to be very 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 high okay so in fact i would suggest you i would tell you that the level of the difficulty is going to be the same as that of your 2023 as that of your 2022 perfect so you need not to worry at all right so the ones who are confused basically whether to take a drop or not my dear students just keep one thing in your mind basically if you are planning to take a drop then you have to dedicate one complete year towards your studies right? You have to follow the proper uh, schedule. You have to avoid all the distractions. You have to be motivated all the time. You should know which set of teachers to follow. You should know what set of books to follow, right? All these things should be in your mind. Then only you should be able to think whether to take a drop or not. If you are willing, if you are willing to dedicate this one complete year towards your studies, if you are willing to study for 10 to 12 hours a day in the one complete year, right then only you should be taking a drop otherwise there is no i mean i don't think i don't think you should take a drop otherwise if you are not willing to commit your time towards the studies for one complete year it's not the matter of one day it's not the matter of one month it's a matter of 12 months my dear students right and in order to qualify any competitive examination i must say one year is enough one year is enough to crack any sort of competitive examination if it is your neat je or even your upsc examinations right one year is completely enough to crack it provided you know what to do what not to do exactly right so if you are dedicated if you want if you want to do it right if you have got the strong motivation with you to crack this examination i would want you guys to take the drop definitely if your need 2020 score is even less than 300 no need to worry at all i have seen people in my teaching career shooting up their score from 300 to 650 while taking after taking a drop so you can do it as well. Perfect. And my dear students, the things which I told you to keep into consideration. Number one, following the proper schedule. Number two, consistency, right? You have to be consistent the whole year. Prioritizing all the three subjects on a particular day. It's not like you will study biology for a week, then physics for a week, then chemistry for a week. No, do not do that at all. All the three subjects should be prioritized in a single day. Follow a particular set of books. Do not change your books in between right if you finish solving one particular book solve that book again no need to change it right follow particular set of teachers the ones who have produced the ranks i would say this right keep on doing the chapter wise mock tests while finishing every chapter right and do not forget to make the notes on your own while watching the lecture i would want all of you to take down your notes and ncrt reading at the end of the lecture completion these are the things which you must keep into consideration, right? If you are planning to get drop, these are the things definitely which you have to keep into your mind. And I'm damn sure you can easily shoot up your ranks to maximum. You can shoot up your score beyond 650 in your NEET 2024 examination. And my dear students, all those things which I told you in this particular session, if you want all these things at one place, then let me tell you, tomorrow on 18th of May, on the actual Unacademy platform, we are launching a new NEET 2024 Avengers batch on the actual Unacademy platform in which Shreya sir will be taking care of your physics, me and HSP sir will be taking care of your chemistry, Ambika ma'am is going to take care of your biology. Your whole syllabus of your physics, chemistry, biology of your class 11th and class 12th will be completed in six months starting from tomorrow. Apart from that, no need to worry about the study material. No need to worry about the mock tests. No need to worry about the test series. All the parameters which are needed for the competitive examination to be cracked 
all these things are incorporated in the batch. The batch is NEAT 2024 Avengers batch, which is completely in English language, right? So I would want you guys to join this particular batch, NEAT 2024 Avengers batch, as soon as possible. You still have got some 12 hours left for its enrollment, right? Because from tomorrow, we are starting the classes. And my dear students, you must be thinking how to get enrolled into this particular batch. You just have to do one thing. You just have to do one thing. This is the Unacademy Need English channel. You can open any video, any video on this channel. For example, I'm opening this particular video on the channel, right? Just drag the video a little down. You'll find a link, a batch link. You just have to click on this particular link. After clicking on the link, my dear students, you have to put your number or email ID and use the code Avenger. You'll be automatically enrolled in this Avengers batch, which is particularly for NEET 2024 aspirants. Whether you are going to write NEET 2024 for the first time, or you are going to write the NEET examination for the second time, right? Or even if you are class 11th aspirant, no need to worry at all, because we are starting with class 11th syllabus in this particular batch, right? In six months, your whole syllabus will be done and dusted, and every single thing will be started from the basics, from the zero. We are starting every concept, every chapter from the foundation, from zero, right? And slowly we'll be scaling up, scaling it up to your NEET level for sure. And my dear students, all the problem patterns which can be asked in a particular chapter, all those problem patterns will be done in this particular batch. So this batch includes 500 plus live classes. It includes 26 plus live doubt solving sessions. It includes 10,000 plus practice questions and much more. So do get enrolled in this batch right now. You still have got some 12 hours left for the enrollments. Enrollments are still open, my dear students. Get enrolled as soon as possible. And let's start the new and this amazing one-year journey with the Avengers team on Unacademy platform. And I would want you guys all to join this particular batch. Let's start the journey tomorrow, right? And let's aim at our dream college through NEET 2024 examination. With this, I'll be taking a leave. Take care. God bless you all and love you all. Bye, guys.